Hey, Trainers, Trainers Pope down here along with the Dancing Bear at first base. KK Shiv, one to eight. Great beast in his natural habitat. Yep. Today on Pokemon Deck Check, we're going to skim over junior, senior meta prediction and kind of what to play, what to expect for Anaheim Regional this weekend. Uh, real quick, sponsor. Ink Gaming, your answer to all your customizable tabletop gaming needs. Yes, they are. Now, uh, we weren't going to do juniors and seniors because masters ended up taking a lifetime to record two hours so we figured uh we would do the juniors and seniors but we're not going to go in that much of a detail because honestly the the meta is not as diverse as the masters right it's not so um uh, I think kids are going to be less likely to try new stuff. They'll more than likely go with what's proven, right? Yeah. Um, the junior kiddos, you're not going to see any Zorark variants because they are uh, got a very high skill cap in the expanded, right? Yep. Plus, Buzzwall is absolutely everywhere in juniors, right? It is. Okay, so real quick, we had uh, a couple Drampa Garb or Garb Shrine variants. We had like, what, three Buzzwalls? Then we had a Malamar, Donphan, and a Night March, all in the top eight. So, judging from that there, what do you think is going to be the most popular? From just this? Yeah, I mean, from these proven winning lists. Buzzwall. I agree. Buzzwall is definitely going to be the most popular deck in juniors, right? Right. But you know what's going to be the second most popular deck in juniors? Lace of Fun. Party Balloon. Too high. Too high for the Party Balloon. Let's go there. There is no reason to think that kiddos won't adapt Party Balloon to expand it. Is there? Is there a reason to think they won't? I can't think of one. They already love it. It's awesome. It's dominating standard. You know, is there an argument to why they wouldn't? No. Nope. So, without a doubt, these two decks for sure the most popular in juniors. Right? Right. 100%. Agree. Now, knowing that, that those two are going to be the most popular, what do we play to counter both of them? Psychic. So you're going to, now keep in mind there's no Zark anywhere, right? Yeah. So you're saying something like, uh, what? I mean, Malamar could be good. So you think maybe Malamar with uh, Ultra Necrozma? There's a nice, 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 nice Ultra Necrozma list uh, that did really good at this past regional. You could easily convert it to Expanded. That's always nice. You got the Ultra Necrozma. You can one-shot everything. What do you think? It sounds good. Yeah, uh, Malamar Necrozma, I like that. But I like something else a lot better. And that's Tree Man. Which you high. can't see it once again. How's that? Can we see Tree Man? We can see Tree Man. So, how do you feel about Tree Man against uh, this field? Good. I just. Didn't know you wanted to bring it out this early. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> Thought you are going to save it for like last and... No, I'm going straight for the play. Okay. Uh, can... Okay, with Trevenant, do you see a better play than Trevenant? No. Against Buzzwall and Party Bloom? No. I don't either. I think Trev easily handles both of those decks, right? Yeah. So, how do you feel about the uh, Don Fan, though? 
so good about that too. I like it. I, I think Don Fan's good. I think it has uh, some good matchups. It's been proven to have a good mm. matchup against uh, Night March. You are not doing a good job. Oh, I'm sorry. That's your job, Dancing Bear. So, how do you feel about Night March or Lost March against uh, Party Balloon and Buzzwall? I think it's pretty good. I think against Blazifon, you're able to two shot and hide and put up Wallafet. And I would stop their shamans. I said Night March, but you're talking about Dom Fan. That's yeah. fine. Oh. Yeah. Well, you can't stop their uh, Naganadals with yeah. Wobbuffet. That's fine. I, I like Don Pan. Uh, what about Night March or Lost March? Uh, they're going to have a hard time against Buzzwool. See, that's what I would think. Especially with the new uh, Lisa. 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 No, it's, it's not. We've already been through this. Lisa. It is not Lisa. Lisa. There's like two S's. Lisa. Or something like that. Uh, grabbing Beast Energy and Diancie, you're going to run rough shot over the Pump Caboos. Where in the past, Landris, you know, kind of struggled with Pump Caboo, you know? Mm hmm. So I'm not thinking, I'm not feeling the Night March, are you? Nope. Okay, so let's move that in here. What about. Uh, I think anything dark rye is way too risky. Juniors, Buzzwall's just super, super easy, right? Right. Blazifon, super easy, right? Right. So we know they're going to be playing these two. So honestly, your best option is Trev, right? Right. I think quite a lot of these other ones down here are too hard. These two, this one, this one's just not a good play in juniors. Too hard. Uh, I wouldn't say that's too hard, but could play that one. Zoro Toad could be good, but again, uh, Buzzwall is just everywhere in in juniors. So I feel like I feel like that would be risky to send a junior with Zoro Toad, don't you? Yes. Or Zork anything, honestly. Blastoise, I feel like it could do really good, but how... It's too hard. You think so? Positive. That, that would actually... If, if, if you could guarantee a junior could play Archie's Blastoise, would you say that was the play? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, I guess parents, you know your child best. If they can... Pilot Archie's Blastoise successfully, then definitely play that, right? Uh -huh. But if not, definitely play Trevenant. Right? Right. So what if um, the younger, newer players don't have uh, Trevenant? So then what do they play to counter Bless Fawn, Buzzwall? Dawn Fan or Malamar. Okay, sticking with that. Since these are older cards, let's say they don't have them because they're newer players. Then what do you play? Malamar. So you think Malamar. Mm -hmm. So maybe newer players that don't have the older cards, you play like Malamar Necrozma. Ultra Necrozma. I like that. You hit uh, Buzzwall for weakness. You got the Garatina to hit Buzzwall for weakness, right? You can one-shot it. Um, it's known to keep up with Bliss Fun. I agree. Alright then. Anything else there, Dancing Bear? You look like you had something to say. No. No? No. Unless you have another deck in mind. I would say... Stop putting stuff down there. They can't see it when it's that low. I'm sorry. I would say Gardevoir... And I would say Gardevoir, but Buzzwall's just going to smash you, right? Right. So, okay, so Trevenant's the play. We'll put the plays up here. So Trevenant would be our first pick, right? Right. And then Donphan's our second pick. And then Malamar's our third, right? Yes. Okay. So there, in order, is our play or our pick. Trev, Don Pan, Malamar. 
Okay. I'll now your see. specialty. Seniors. Zork. Garb. Let me pull up the top eight super quick here. First place, Zorgarb. Second place, Zorgarb. This is all with cleft key to attach and then discard as a tool. So, and then bursting blooms, that sort of stuff. Another Zorgarb. So three Zorgarbs. Then you have a Buzzwall, Lycanroc. Then you have a an odd uh, addition, the Rayquaza. Then you have a Donphan. Then you have another Zora Garb. Then you have another Buzzwall. So, quite the difference in seniors versus juniors, right? Yeah. You either play Zora Garb, you play Buzzwall, or you play Don Pan and Rayquaza. So, knowing that you're a senior, what is going to be the most popular? Party Balloon has not been popular in seniors so far. Because the whole senior mentality, well, I'm just going to counter what's popular. Right? Right. So, much of dissidence. Um, a lot of people are going to see Zor Garb and think Buzzwall's got a pretty dang good matchup. Or if they've ever tried Zork Lycanroc against it, then that could also be a good play that they have. I think a lot of them would actually go for Zork Lycanroc. We've done extensive testing, right? Mm -hmm. Against Zorgar variants, right? Yeah. Zorok wins, folks. Right? It does. It's like kryptonite for the Zorgar for whatever reason. Um... I, I have to agree with the Dancing Bear. Zorgar seems pretty spicy. Okay. Um, so I think a lot of players would play this. To counter it. Mm -hmm. What else? So you think these two might be the most popular? Is that what you're saying? Or do yeah. you think Buzzwall plus Zorgar would be the most popular? I guess the wheel could kind of be like this, as if Buzzwall is a good matchup here. Yeah, it it's auto a good wins up here, and then here has an okay matchup there. See, I I think you can do certain techs to make that matchup better. I really do. I think you add like Focus Sash, and all of a sudden Skyfield uh, Zork doesn't matter too much. It doesn't play Trash Alanche. It's just two Garbotoxins. I think you could tool Buzzwall to beat Garbodor, and we know for sure it beats that. So I don't want to discredit this as a play. Do you? Nope. So, I'm actually also feeling Dawn fan as the a Dawn play. fan. You keep spilling I'm the sorry. Beans. I'm sorry. Like... I was going to say a good play that I would like to do, I already like the deck, would be Dawn Fan. Okay, so you're the senior expert, so you take the lead here. I'll be your wingman. Matchup here is good. Matchup here is good. Matchup here is good. The three main decks you got a good matchup against. You are able to spinning turn into Wobbuffet, shut off trades, bloodthirsty eyes, cleft key. And you get to shut off the Lycanroc, Octillaries, Shamans, whatever else they got going on. Um, I'm seeing Garatina Promo, Diancy, Oracorio, Pseudowoodo, Zygarde EX, Landris EX, two Buzzwall GX, three babies is what I'm seeing. So none of those texts are gonna affect Dawn Fan. Here's a here's Isaiah's list. Three baby, two Lycan Rock GX, two Rock Ruff, one Buzzwall GX, Pseudo Widow, Diancy, one Tapalele, one one Octillery. 
Okay. So, Boba Fett really hurts that. From yep. what I can tell. And it hurts those two also. And if Trevenant's not really seeing any play, Don Van could be a really good deck. Yeah, that's the key. Uh, how much Trevenant is seniors going to play? That's the million dollar question. I didn't see that much. Well, no, not here, right but here. we know that Rescue Scarf is like completely sold out. It could have been the Masters and the Juniors doing that. Uh, so you don't think seniors will gravitate toward Trev? Not really seeing those two running around because you're just going to pop, pop, pop. Use Clef Key. Attach. Yeah. And I think that's why they uh, opted to play the Zora Garb with the Clef Keys and stuff like that to because they were anticipating a lot of Trevenant. Yeah. So I think I would be worried about sending a senior into battle with Trevenant too. Right? Two. Like, I would not recommend to a senior to play Trevenant. Oh, yeah. So... What else you feeling there? Well, I think Sableye Garb could be a good play also. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. If you're saying um, they're just running four DCE and a special charge, we know that they run four DCE, three strong, and maybe two regulars. And Buzzwell, of course, four strong. One uh, beast and then nine base. So, I think... That would be its hardest matchup. But these two, you just bob <clears throat> off the DCs and you're all set. Agreed completely. Buzzwall is going to be your most difficult match. If they liaise with the beast, that's 60. Diancy, that's 80. And then Muscle Band, yeah. It's going to be hard to keep up with Sableye with Buzzwall's amount of pressure, honestly. Yep. So, it's kind of risky, but do you think you could dodge the Buzzwalls and just uh, just pick off all the Zorak variants that seniors play? I do, because I think more are going to play Zorak Lycanroc than they are going to play Buzzwall. Okay. Um, with the Zoraks running around... All right, how much Buzzwall is Seniors going to play? Answer me that. An okay amount. So you think Gardevoir's too risky? With the amount of Buzzwalls? Yeah, it would be pretty risky. How do you like Gardevoir's matchup? Uh, here and here. I don't like Gardevoir with the uh, Garbotoxin. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Because, I mean, that's the, that's what killed this deck was Hex. And that deck is designed to basically Hex every turn. So I think it's kind of risky, don't you? What about Zoro Toad Control? Yeah. What are you feeling on that? Uh, I don't really like the matchup between those two. If you get Skyfield and then a full bench... Then you're just able to pop the toad knockout. Okay, so Blastoise. I feel it's risky, right? Because I feel like with this version, uh, you can easily do the Skyfield because it's going to be running. This version is probably going to be running the Garatina and Eggs to put on your bench to fill it up. So, Clef Key, the Garbotoxin, to activate it. One shot the Keldeo or whatever. And then Blastoise can't do anything because you have Clef Key on Garbodor. And at that point, you're now draw, pass. Dead in the water. Uh, I still have my same DCE. At this point, now I just via Seeker or whatever for Guzma or Lysander. Now I'm up four prizes. Yeah. And then I could have just attached Bursting Gloom or a Floatstone or something. So that sounds pretty bad. So Blastoise sounds terrible, right? Yep. What about Zork Garatina, the the ultra hyper aggressive? 
It, can it put enough pressure on Zorogar? Or do you still like Zorogar? I don't know about that one. I don't know how the matchup there goes. I think that one is e maybe in favor of Zork like Malik overall. Okay. How do you feel about Party Blend? I think it gets mm. dumpstered by the Garbatoxin Clef Key. Yeah. Don't play that. Um Malamar variant, same thing, right? Gets dumpstered by the Garbalock. Yeah, they've set up one Zork and then floats down the Garbador. Nothing it can do. What about uh Dark Ride? Is it too risky with the uh but I mean you're gonna have the same problem with Naginato, right? Mm-hmm. Dark Ride Naginato. Yep. So what about what are Night March, Lost March variants? Uh you can get set up super quick before they can uh garble lock you. Two ten is pretty high though. And they have the well, they have the Marshadow GX. So maybe not so much Lost March, but a nice Marsha. Well, you could play Marshadow and Lost March too. Okay, that could be pretty good. You think so? Yeah. I mean, what abilities are you shutting off in Lost March, really? Uh, think about from turn. Two on. The Trump Beaks. Marsh Shadow. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, that could be problematic. Oh, yeah, that one too. I was thinking of the basic 70 HP. Get lost. But yeah, the GX also. Oh. Yeah. The Orangaroos. Yeah, so we don't really like any March variant. No. Really. So, it sounds like we kind of agree. Don Fan, Zorrock, and Sableye, right? Mm-hmm. Or do you like going in with the Zorrock garb? Clef Key, Floatstone, Bursting Balloon. You're going to get countered hard. By what, though? Buzzwall? Everything. Are they, or, or do you like Buzzwall being teched? To beat uh, Zorgo. Because, um, I think the uh, Zygarde is pretty solid against, uh, is a decent tech. What Zygarde? Um, I don't see it on here. I'm sorry. Zygarde EX. Oh, the one with Stadium Play 20 more. And then it has a second attack heals. It's kind of like uh, Lucario. Yeah. 190. Not weak to psychic. Weak to grass. No grass is being played. Yeah. What about any Zoro Toad? Are you, we already addressed that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I so. I went over all of them. So, uh, kind of start putting it in order now that we've kind of gone through the main. Your options, it sounds like. Let me put your options over here. I guess you can play Rayquaza. I think Rayquaza is risky. So, you have these four, right? Is there something else? There's five. Oh, five? Yep. So, is, is there anything else? Not Trev, right? No. Too risky. Yep. Way too much Zora, right? Yep. Okay. So, what do you like best against Zora Garb? Mm. And then what do you like best? Okay. Zora Garb versus this. Do you like that? What do you mean by do I like it? This beats that? Nope. This beats this? Nope. This beats this? Nope. This beats this? Nope. Okay. So you're saying we can hard counter this with these four decks? Mm-hmm. And probably the closest of the four is this, so you need the right text, right? Yeah. 
Okay. So, how do we like... You already said this beats that, so how does this do against that? Not good. This against that? That's an auto win, right? Auto loss. The auto win for this. Yeah, we're going this against this. Right. So it's not an auto win, it's auto so, loss. So, two bad matchups here. What about here? Bad matchups still. So, these two are losing to these three. Okay, so Don Fan, Buzzwall. Good. Don Fan, Sableye. I think that's kind of bad. Yeah, I was thinking bad too. Because, I mean, they can get rid of your float stones and Wobbuffet's stuck in the active. Unless you just keep on switching with Dawn fans. And then they have, well, they have Fava's. And Plumeras. Yeah. I think they could run you out of energy pretty easy. Yeah. And you're not doing enough. Can you, you can't even one shot them without Diancy. You'd have to have Muscle Band. So you would have to tech this specifically to beat that. Yeah. So I'd say bad match. And I don't and I don't think that's worth it, folks, to tech out Domfan just to beat that because I don't think that'll be that popular, right? Right. So you're better off uh, doing your muscle band, choice band, focus sash, rather than straight like uh, muscle band, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so how do you like Buzzwall against... That's okay, well we said not that. where we're at. We're at non fan against this, good. Non fan against that, good. Okay. And then, okay. What do you mean by okay? You get, you just pointed to that and said okay. Don fan versus this. We already did that. Don fan's favor. You think so? Yeah. They can one shot sh- the fampies. No, they cannot. Yeah, they can't. Eighty. Beast energy muscle band. That's quite a lot. Or Diancy. Still quite a lot. Turn one Lele to Lisa. Get my Beast Energy and Diancy. Open that you have draw. Lele. So, so, okay, so 50 50. No. So you like this? That is not 50 50. You just pointed to Dawn Fan and Sableye again. Okay, so where are we at? Oh, we're here. Okay, so then do it. Take the lead. Buzzwall against Sableye. I think Buzzwall can put enough pressure on with just one energy attackers. Yep, Buzzwall against... We with said their... 50-50. Yeah, I think 50. A loss. Or a win. Yeah. Now, Sableye against Zork. I think that's a win, win. for Sableye. Sableye against Zork. I think that's a win, too. Win. Loss. So it looks like Donphan and Sableye. Buzzwall. And then Buzzwall right behind, right? Yeah. So go ahead and put them in order. How you think the best play... One, two, three. You think Donphan's your number one play? Buzzwall number two. And save line number three. Four, five. Okay. So you have Don Van, Buzzwall, Save Line. Out of those, how much Save Line do you think you're going to see? Not much. So. If you just go in hard with Donphan, and there's lists that also run Trevenant, the item lock. So, I mean, that could hurt some of these other decks, right? Yeah. So, how does Gardevoir, well, how do you think Gardevoir does against Donphan and Sableye? I think it can potentially win against Sableye with the GX attack. Just put mm-hmm. in 10 more energies. Will we see seniors play party Glenn? Nope. Okay. So are you good with that right there then? Yeah. No Trevenant, right? No Trev. So Trevenant is not the play in seniors, but it is the play in juniors, right? Yeah. Okay, so Don Fan, Buzzwall, Save Live for seniors. Trev. Um, 
what did we say? Buzzwall? Yep. Trev, Buzzwall, and Malamar for juniors, right? Yes. Or did we say Wobbuffet? I think we said Don Or Don Pan, yeah. Wobbuffet. Yeah, I think it was Don Pan. Don Pan. Trev, Don Pan, Malamar. Yeah, I agree. Okay, is that it, Dancing Bear? I believe so. All right, folks. Uh, hopefully this helps. This information helps. Um, it's always hard. Well, it's always hardest for me to pinpoint the senior meta because it's so different than the juniors or the masters. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully it works out. We did our best. Um, so until next time, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes.